With the end of Windows 10 support in most countries back in October, we've seen quite a rise in users that are willing to give Linux a shot. Sorin OS, a distribution that attempts to ease users into Linux by providing a familiar yet still different user interface, has seen a massive increase in downloads. But why now? Well, honestly, it's not really a surprise to me. Windows 11 has very strict hardware requirements. Microsoft locks down bypasses for online accounts, increasingly tries to shove AI functionalities down your throat, keeps breaking core functionalities of Windows month over month, and honestly, it just isn't as appealing to many as it used to be. But it's not just that. Linux is currently seeing a lot of change. And if you have been following the trends over the past couple of years, then you can see a shift that more and more companies are evaluating Linux as a viable platform. In today's video, we're going over on what makes Linux more appealing than Windows, how software support is coming along, and why, if Microsoft isn't careful, they might actually lose out on the desktop market. Let's get into it. This video was made possible by channel members of our community. If you want to participate in selecting new video topics, see what's going on behind the scenes and gain access to various tips and tricks, then please make sure to check out the join button or the link in the video description down below. I can't be the only one to notice it, right? It's not just that more and more people are considering Linux to be a viable choice for their desktops, but also that we have seen many improvements to both hardware and software support, that many vendors just straight up offer Linux as a cheaper alternative for their devices. Lenovo has a custom page for their Linux compatible devices, and Dell also started to ship Ubuntu with some of their models as a much cheaper Windows alternative. We are seeing handhelds that officially support SteamOS, the Linux distribution made by Valve. And Valve themselves are doubling down on Linux support by bringing out a new Steam Machine console, which is essentially a fully fledged PC, and extending SteamOS functionalities onto a new VR headset as well. For a long time, switching to Linux was not really a viable option for many, because on Windows, most stuff just worked. Sure, even Windows 10 had some quirks, like AMD graphics drivers downgrading themselves, even mid-game, default apps being overwritten, the Windows search being utterly useless sometimes, problems with Bluetooth pairing, sleep problems and many more. But at the end of the day, most can use Windows just fine. You never really had to worry about game compatibility because of anti-cheat. You don't need to be careful when buying exotic gear that comes with a special driver. All the industry standard office and designer apps just work on it. And honestly, besides the privacy arguments, most users don't really have the motivation to switch. However, that is currently changing. I don't think that there has been a single month for the past half a year or so, whereas Microsoft didn't break some core functionalities of Windows 11 or made the experience worse. Like I mean, just look at this. Windows Update makes sign-in invisible. Windows Updates cause BitLocker recovery screen, which happened multiple times this year already by the way. Microsoft Windows 11 24H2 bug crashes Explorer and Start menu. Windows 11 update breaks localhost, which is important for many developers. And just the fact that Microsoft is purely focused on integrating their Copilot AI into everything they offer you is getting on the nerves of many. The problem with Copilot is not necessarily that it is bad or anything, but because it for once tries to fix issues that shouldn't be there in the first place. And you also need to basically give it access to everything so that it can work like they advertise it. And even then, it doesn't really work like that and makes your computer feel, quote, incompetent. Like, why should I use an AI agent on my system to search for files? On my Fedora Linux installation, I can just search for something and it will find it in seconds. No internet first search, no exact name, it just does the thing. Windows 11, while not necessarily being slow in terms of being noticeable by the end user, except maybe if you have a NAS that is not reachable remotely, is slow in comparison to Linux. Let's check out these benchmarks. Yes, not every game performs better than on Windows. And yes, if you have an Nvidia GPU, then it also doesn't really hold true. But the operating system itself is blazing fast. And this is by going through a compatibility layer. The fact that the Windows native game can perform better on Linux while going through a compatibility layer that has some slight overhead should tell you all that you need to know. I believe that we are slowly approaching a point where as many are starting to see the potential that Linux offers. Instead of AI being shoved into your face and updates making the experience progressively worse, Linux keeps improving and you are the one in control of how you want to use it. 
When you set up a Linux distro, you're not required to create an online account. You're not being offered any subscriptions and you can choose how you want your desktop to look like. It's a baseline that you can build upon. You want to access your cloud storage? Well, instead of constantly being asked to log in, you can just choose yourself. Want to integrate AI into your desktop? You can do that. But this is entirely up to you, not by some company that wants you to use their service. I use Linux on essentially all my PCs. Why? Because I can do anything that I want to do. I record and edit my videos on it. I can download and play most of my video games. All the other programs I use are natively supported, or I just use alternatives that, for my purposes, are more than enough. And with Linux getting more exposure through more hardware vendors offering it, Windows becoming worse over time and increasing support from software developers, it looks like we might actually get to see a shift in the global operating system market. Not in a big wave, like everyone is switching right now, but gradually. Colabora, for example, an alternative to Google and Microsoft 365 that allows you to edit your documents online, just released an offline version of their overall office suite. While it doesn't support simultaneous editing in the offline applications yet, like Microsoft Office does, it is bridging the gap of relying on two different office suites for local and online editing. And compatibility-wise, the more people are using open source office alternatives, the less problematic will compatibility problems be, making Linux a more viable choice. Hardware vendors will improve support, and so on and so forth. I believe that with Microsoft focusing so much on AI, that a big chunk of users will seriously start to consider Linux as a good option. Mainly because it already is. Not perfect, but you have the control over it. But anyway, that's enough from me. Do you agree that we're starting to see a slight shift in the desktop market towards Linux? Do you think that Valve can change gaming so far that anti-cheat enabled titles will get better support? Please let us know in the comment section down below. Before I end this video, I quickly wanted to mention that if you want to support the channel and make even better videos, then please feel free to check out our membership program as well as our online shop, whereas each sale helps to support various open source projects. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future Linux videos just like this one. I hope that I'll see you again really soon, but up until then, all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.